Hey Pisces, this is going to be a reading for March 2020. I'm going to pull an oracle card first. From my only round deck. What does Pisces need to know? For March. Pisces. See if we can get one to jump out. Well, that one kind of flew out. Evolution. Someone else got this. Evolution. That's a change within. Something within evolving. Let's see. You stretch for the potential that rests within. The spirit and creative energies provide lessons for opening to needed movement and direction. Changes relating to inner growth. Through move, though movement may not be seen, it is felt. Structures and molds are broken as evolution changes the life path. Wow, this sounds like a change in life path. You follow your inner direction with faith and determination. So are you making a big change? Pisces, are you changing your life path? Pisces. Let's see. Pisces. The kitty cat's falling asleep. center five of cups well it sure looks like you're changing your life path or well, might be with the five of cups is about sadness and disappointment he's looking at the three cups that have spilled on the ground and he has two choices he can turn backwards and pick up similar cups, possibly go through the same disappointment again. But remember, this is talking about the evolution, is talking about a life path change. Or he can go down, he can walk down this grass here and cross this bridge. that's where the end of that rainbow is. That's a new, he may need to take it, you may need to take a new path of some sort. Pisces, let's see what's crossing that. Eight of Pentacles, so there's the determination and the persistence I'm not sure if that, that could be your challenge. This is usually a very good card though. Working, developing a skill. This could be pointing to the new path. These are also opposite in there. This is a cup card, this is a pinnacle card, this is emotions, this is like work. So maybe suggesting that you need to focus on work or a skill or learning something new. That would also bring you to a new path with learning something new. Underneath, subconscious, there's a seed in your subconscious. You have an idea. You have an idea brewing. I think you have an idea brewing for this new path. This is a very uh, fortunate card to get in a reading also. In the past, three of pentacles, accomplishing something in a group, cooperation. Above the hangman, taking time out. Sometimes this time out is um, 
something that can not be an easy thing to do. It can be hard, for example, to get time off. It can be hard to hold yourself back from taking action. But remember, this in your subconscious, this is just the idea. This is just the, the seed. This isn't action. This is just the seed, the idea. This isn't physically doing something. This is the idea, which often comes when you take this time to do nothing, to get a new perspective. There's definitely a new perspective that's needed here. Let's see, near future, judgment, awakening. That's coming in the near future. Waking up. A realization. This is what allows you to have a new beginning and a new start and a fresh perspective. This awakening is what that halo around his head is all about. He's getting that awakening right there by taking that time out. You are currently feeling stuck, perhaps. He's definitely stuck between two places right there. No, he's not stuck. He's just looking there. It's your thoughts. It's your thoughts that are keeping you stuck. It's your focusing on what you don't have that's keeping you here like this. These are your thoughts. I feel like they're these thoughts of the past, of what's happened. That's making you feel like you can't move forward. Could also be, in some instances, choosing not to move forward. Because as you see, the hangman's not moving. But these are your thoughts Sometimes it's the thoughts of others. You can always move out of this energy, though. But that's how you may be feeling right now. You may have to let go of some of these thoughts, which will happen. These will, I feel like these, all these thoughts that are kind of holding you back will drop away after you take this time out and have this awakening around you is the energy of determination, of having lived through a lot, been through a lot, but still willing to take a step forward and take another risk. Take another risk. That's very good energy. See how, see the, the yellow and the, and the um, orange? That's very positive energy. Quite different from this gloomy energy. So this is around you. Hopes and fears, Knight of Swords, are you afraid of expressing yourself? A lot of times that eight of swords, that's exactly what that is. Fear of expressing yourself, fear of speaking out. It may not be the right time to speak out. Not until after this awakening anyway. And then the outcome, king of pentacles, wow. Financial abundance, knowing how to run a business really well. Um, but he's a very friendly person also. I don't know if this is you or somebody you're going to meet. Could be a new boss or something like that. But this person really um, is also... Um, very environmentally conscious, takes care of the earth, likes to grow things. Maybe this is the evolution that the Oracle card is talking about. Some kind of awakening after you've, like kind of, I don't know, this could be a vacation or a lot of meditating. Brings this awakening. Maybe this isn't a fear of an expression. Maybe this is a hope of being able to express yourself in some physical way, like growing something or a business or the King of Pentacles um, also um, helps others to grow. 
He's a good. He's a great advisor. If you um, need advice on how to do how to grow a business, or how to, um, you know, grow this the skill that you're trying to um, get better at, because he's already accomplished that. Whatever this this is, he has accomplished that. He has become the master of that skill. This could be you becoming the master of that skill. Whatever that skill is. So the outcome is very, very good. Looks like currently or temporarily there's going to be some sadness or some evolution in your mind that you need to make. Thanks, guys. <laughs>